Not immediately, but uh, he has to taper fairly soon because um, it, the, I think the key issue is that the ECB is simply running out gradually of assets to buy until, unless it wants to make a major leap and uh, start to buy different assets. But the fact of the matter is that the ECB um, has some self-imposed limits and that means that uh, it's got to taper. And Klaus, when you talk about these self-imposed limits on the bonds that the ECB is actually eligible to purchase, do you have any idea of when scarcity really becomes a problem? How far along the timeline are we in that regard? Well, that really depends on uh, which economy you're talking about. Um, but, for instance, in the case of uh, Portugal, we think that that could be as soon as the first quarter of 2018. And for the largest, um, well, for the largest economy, for Germany, um, that looks like about February 2019. But that's already assuming that the ECB actually reduces its monthly purchasing rate from the current 60 billion a month to 40 billion a month. If it were to continue at 60 billion, those uh, li those uh, limits would bite even earlier. Um, so the the governing council really has to um, slowly formulate a strategy because you know nobody, even the greatest hawks on the ECB governing council, say, say or suggest that you should go cold turkey. That you should just stop buying from one moment to the next. It's advisable, as all other central banks have done, or pretty much all of them, to gradually slow the pace. And so you have to begin that.